evening, and welcome to TMC News. I'm Sarah Anderson, and tonight we bring you the latest developments from a high-stakes summit of 57 Arab and Islamic nations convened urgently to address the escalating crisis in Gaza. Headline Arab and Islamic summit calls for immediate ceasefire in Gaza amid accusations of double standards. The final communique issued by this hastily convened summit of 57 Arab and Islamic nations was unanimous in calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The hosts, Saudi Arabia, accused the international community of double standards. The Saudi foreign minister said the UN Security Council had failed to live up to its responsibilities by not holding Israel to account for its actions in Gaza. The head of the Arab League said he hoped the West would heed the message coming from a quarter of the UN's membership. Iran and Syria wanted to go further, calling for concrete actions such as the severing of relations between Israel and some countries in the region. This was declined. In private conversations on the sidelines, a number of Arab ministers told me of their fears that the high number of deaths among Palestinian civilians in Gaza was already radicalizing some of their youth. They also spoke of their disappointment with their Western allies, pointing out the West's condemnation of Russia's actions in Ukraine while largely failing to do the same with Israel over Gaza. As the international community grapples with the complexities of the Middle East crisis, TMC News will continue to closely monitor developments and provide updates on this evolving situation. I'm Sarah Anderson, and thank you for joining us on TMC News.